Hi, it's uh, welcome to Simply Sweet Home. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my last year's Easter decorating marathon. With Easter coming up next month, I'm so excited to start adding in some sweet Easter touches here in my home. So if you are starting to think about it like me and want to get some early decorating ideas for Easter, I wanted to get this video out there for you. I have changed so much in my home since I decorated for Easter last year, so I'm really excited to decorate this year and see how everything turns out. So if you are ready for all things spring, Easter, bunnies, flowers, and everything else, then this video is for you. Don't don't forget to come back so you can see how I decorate my home for Easter this year and get more Easter decorating ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my kitchen for Easter. This is what my kitchen looks like right now after taking down some decor and then the rest I'm just going to leave up and add in some Easter decorations. You can see there on my island everything that I'm planning on decorating my kitchen with for Easter. I am so excited to share this video. I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Last year when I decorated for Easter, I used a lot of bright colors, but this year I want to tone it down a little and keep it more neutral and just add a few colors in here and there. So that is what my plan is to decorate here in my kitchen for Easter. So I'm going to start out right here and share with you everything that I'm going to be using to decorate for Easter with. I have a few things from last year and then I purchased a few new things to add to my Easter decor. We have these dish towels that were from Bill's Outlet. This one says hop and then this one says hippity and they came as a set and I just thought those were so pretty. Then this carrot dish towel was from Hobby Lobby and I just love this one so much. This little a succulent plant was from Dollar General. It was $3. I just picked that up. thought it was simple and cute. I got this new Magnolia Table Cookbook, Volume 2. I found this at Walmart. It was like $16. I already had the first one, so I wanted to get the second one. This Easter beaded garland was from Hobby Lobby, and it was 40% off, just like all the stuff I got from Hobby Lobby for Easter this year. So I picked that up. I found these little metal wood bunnies at Hobby Lobby this year. They were $2.99. Little bunny salt and pepper shakers from Hobby Lobby. They came as a little set and I just think they're so adorable. This little mini Easter rolling pin I found at Hobby Lobby and it was $4.49. Well, three set of carrots came from Hobby Lobby and they were $7.99. I just love the color of these. I think they are so cute. I just have some of these little ceramic bunnies and I picked these up at Walmart last year. This little bunny Easter jar I found at Hobby Lobby last year. I'm going to use that. This candle I found at Big Lots this year and it was $7.99. I just love the way it looked on the outside and it smells really good. This Easter blessing sign is from Hobby Lobby, $6.99. This vase at Ross for $11.99. It's a pretty good size. So I was looking for a big vase, so I was happy to find this one. Isn't this a bunny is so cute. I found this at Hobby Lobby this year. I think it was $39.99, but 40% off. And I just think it is the cutest. This metal hanging wall basket came from Amazon. It says flowers and garden, and it came as a pack of four. I found this little ceramic cupcake stand on Amazon. Look how adorable that is with the little bunny. I think it is so cute. 
This little white ceramic bunny came from Walmart last year and it lights up. This little ceramic Easter basket was from Hobby Lobby and it was $9.99. I found these metal bunny napkin rings on Amazon last year. They came in, I think, a pack of 12. So I'm gonna use those. This is a simple white table runner I found on Amazon and I just love the fringe edges on it. Just simple and perfect for Easter. I found this wood Easter sign on Amazon. It is very well made and it came with a little rope that you can hang it from. It was a little pricey, but I think it was totally worth it. So I'm excited to use that. And we just have this simple wicker basket. It's a pretty big size and it was from Home Goods. $12.99 charger plates that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99 and I just loved the look of these. The little scalloped edges, I thought they were so pretty. So I picked up two of those. Then under here we have these placemats and I found these at Walmart. There were better homes and gardens and I picked up two of those. Have this bunny ear pick that I found at Hobby Lobby. Isn't that so cute? That was $7.99. I just love that. I picked up these pretty flower stems at Walmart. This little egg flower arrangement I found at Bill's Outlet and it was $9.99. And then also at Bill's Outlet, I found this candle. It smells so good. And I just love that it's white. I already burned it because it smells delicious. So I picked up that. So this is everything I'm planning on using to decorate with. I'm so excited to start. Let's see how it all turns out. I'm starting over here on these wire baskets and this hanging rack. I just want to keep it simple and add in a few pieces to the decor that I already have here on this wall. I forgot to share where I got this little block sign from that says take time to stop and nibble the carrots. I just think it is so cute and I found this at Hobby Lobby. I'm moving over here to my chicken wire shelf that I just love decorating up for every holiday and season. This sign fit perfectly right here in the middle of the shelf. I think it is so pretty and adds in the perfect Easter touch.
gonna take these Easter M&Ms and just add them to that cute little bunny jar. You always need some Easter candy around during Easter time, right? <laughs> I am so happy with how this turned out. It all came together so nicely and I just love adding a little touch of Easter here on my cabinet. This light over here in this corner is from Amazon and I just love having it over here. It just makes my whole kitchen feel a little more cozier. I decided to take this little wood riser that I found on Amazon and place it under the lamp to raise it up a little bit so you can see it better. And it ended up working out perfect. Over here, I just want to keep it simple, so I'm taking this white ceramic Easter basket and placing those carrots inside of it. I love the pop of orange color that it adds over here in this corner.
guys i couldn't resist adding this cute little bunny here on the stand isn't it so cute it just makes me smile <laughs> I am so happy with how this turned out. I think it was so pretty and I just love those charger plates. I think I'm going to go and try to find a few more. Hopefully I can find some so I can use them on Easter morning for breakfast. I wanted to do something a little different here on my dining room table for the centerpiece than I usually do. So I'm using this tray that I found at Home Goods and then adding some pretty Easter pieces to it. I really wanted to go big and have it stand out and get your attention and I think that is exactly how it turned out. I just love it. I'm just going to light this candle and then we are going to take a look at everything together now that I am done decorating my kitchen for Easter.
Thank you so much for joining me as I decorated my kitchen for Easter. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you tons of inspiration and motivation to decorate your own space for Easter. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. Sarah and I'm so glad you're here and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back and joining me again. I am so excited to share today's video with you. I'm going to be decorating my dining room and my new beadboard accent wall for Easter. This is what my dining room looks like right now. All that stuff on the table is what I'm going to be decorating with but I took everything down that I will not be using and then I will add some things in for Easter. 
My husband and I did a little DIY here in our dining room and we put in this beadboard accent wall that I just love so much. It has some pegs on it and a little shelf that I am so excited to decorate up some. I did make a separate video of us making this, so I will link that video down below if you want to check it out. Here is my entryway table and I just left on the stuff that I want to keep there and then I'm just going to add some Easter decor to this. If you've been here a little while, you might notice that this area looks a little different. I took that peg shelf down that was next to the door because it was just too much with the accent wall. And then the five tiered shelf that was over in the corner, I moved to a different area that you will see in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start right here and share with you everything that I'm gonna be using to decorate for Easter here in my dining room. There are a few new items and then some I've had for a while. So I just wanted to share where everything came from. First are these adorable Easter pillow covers. I found these at Hobby Lobby. I had to insert the pillows inside. They just came with the covers, but aren't those so cute? Look at those colors. I just love these. We have this pretty tulip wreath and I found this at Walmart. Cute little bunny picture I found at Walmart. I just think it is so pretty and I just love the colors of it. Happy Easter sign. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off. Everything that I bought from Hobby Lobby was 40% off. So, and then I just have this simple dish towel. Next I have this welcome sign and I found this on Amazon. These pretty white artificial tulips I found on Amazon last year. I have a few cute bunnies. I found this one at Hobby Lobby. And then this ceramic one I picked up from Walmart last year. Garden hanging a bucket I found on Amazon. It came with a four pack and I just think this is so adorable. So I'm excited to use that. And we have this cute wood bunny over here and I found this at TJ Maxx this year. This neutral table runner I found on Amazon last year. And then this big chunky wood garland I found on Amazon and I just love this. These candlesticks I found at Dollar General and I just thought they were so pretty and they were $10 each so I picked up two of those. This little ceramic egg, this is spring I found from Hobby Lobby. This cute little bunny jar I found at Walmart last year and then these little carrots I added inside were from Amazon last year also. Picture and I found this on Amazon. Wooden carrots I found at Hobby Lobby. This wood block sign, this is Happy Easter, I found at Hobby Lobby last year. I have this stack of books that says Home Sweet Home. This was from Bill's Outlet and I just loved this side of it. I just thought it was so pretty. So I have that. This cute carrot garland I found at Walmart this year. Then we have this super cute mug that I found at Hobby Lobby this year. This cute little bouquet in a basket I found at Bill's Outlet this year. I just thought it was so pretty. And then this wood looking rustic tray I found at Bill's Outlet also. This Hobby Everything sign I found at Walmart last year. Over here we have some eucalyptus stems. These were from Amazon, they came in a big pack. And then I found these carrot stems at Hobby Lobby. Aren't those so cute? So I picked up a few of those. Then we have this long wooden tray, doble. It was from Bell's Outlet. And then we have this little bunny on a stand and this was from Walmart that I picked up this year. So cute. All right, so this is everything I am planning on using to decorate my dining room with. I am so excited to see how it all turns out. Let's get started.
forgot to share where I got this cute little wicker bunny from. This was from Hobby Lobby last year. I did end up switching this bunny for the one at the top that was from TJ Maxx down here because I thought it was just a little too much next to those baskets. But it's all I have And if we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I
here on my table I wanted to do something a little different than I usually do so I decided to use this tray to make a little vignette and I just love how it turned out. Right now I'm not going to put candles in these candle holders. I think they look pretty without them but later on I might add some. I am done decorating my dining room for Easter and I am so excited to share with you how everything turned out. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. Somebody near is open for tonight, it's not too This sideboard table I kept more simple. I didn't want to add too much to it because over in the corner we have that five-tiered shelf that I just love decorating up. I did end up removing that Ray Dunn birdhouse behind there on the last shelf because you can't see it anyway with the basket and I just love the basket there. I was so happy with how this turned out just because I have a bunch of pegs and a long shelf I do not need to decorate every bit of it and use all those pegs up. I just wanted to add a little something over here to make it feel a little more like Easter. I am just loving this tray with a bunny on it just poking out. I just think it is so cute and I just love how it turned out. I just love these pillow covers so much. I think they're so pretty and adds in the perfect touch over here by this window. I love how cozy it feels over by this window, by the wall next to my door where that peg shelf used to be. I think I want to add a picture in or something, but I haven't found anything that I love yet, so we will see. We are lights, we are believers, we are safe with each other, with each other. But are we at the end? Are we at the end? Or are we at the start? 129 beats per minute from my heart. Anywhere we go is where.
Thank you so much for joining me today as I decorated my dining room for Easter. I am so happy with how it turned out. I love how simple yet cozy feeling it is and perfect for Easter. I hope this gave you some ideas to decorate your own space for Easter or springtime. I'm excited to do a little more Easter decorating here in my home, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss any of my videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, it would help me out so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!